Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a foundation that I am so in love with and I just thought I would do this review finally because this foundation I have just been in love with for the past about maybe seven months, maybe six months and I haven't done a review on it and it is a drugstore foundation and I know a couple of my subscribers have asked me to do a review on this foundation so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So if you want to know what foundation I am just crazy about, then just please keep watching. Okay, so the foundation that I can just not get enough of in its drugstore, it is the 24 hour Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This foundation is just sent from heaven, I really think, because it's drugstore, first of all, it's not expensive at all, and it's basically like just heaven in a bottle, I think. I'm going to start off with what the bottle looks like. It's not anything special, I just think this is a perfect bottle. I don't really like anything special when it comes to my foundation bottles because I'm not really using what's outside of the bottle, I'm using what's inside of the bottle. So. Okay, and when you open the foundation bottle, it just looks like this, like it's not anything too special. Anything, it doesn't have a pump, which I really like wish it did, but that's just like the only thing that I don't like about this foundation, that it doesn't have a pump. But I know some people said that there's came with pumps. I'm not sure about that, but mine didn't come with a pump, so whatever. And the bottle is just, like I said, very simple and the back just looks like that. It has a few things on the back. It says, wears up to 24 hours, flawless look and lightweight feel. That is definitely true. This foundation is a very long wearing and it says flawless look, lightweight feel. Um, that's so true as well because whenever I'm wearing this foundation, I feel like I'm not really wearing foundation. And I am in a combination to oily skin and I'm in 110 ivory and I'm very, very pale. As you can tell, so this is like the most palest color that they have, like the lightest color. And it's a little bit too light for my skin. Just a very like, honestly, like a shade lighter than my skin. So I should have got the color above, but I just want to try this one out because I did have the color above before and that was too dark for my skin. So I thought this one would be perfect, but it's too light. So I might just get, like I might just keep this one and then just buy the shade above this one and just mix like them together because then it'd probably bring like the perfect shade. But I don't know, we'll see. I'm actually wearing it on some of my pimples. I'm not wearing it fully right now because I didn't feel like wearing full foundation today because it's very hot out. So I just didn't feel like that. But a few of my pimples, not these ones right here. These aren't pimples, these are acne scars. I just filled a um, few of my pimples. I have a pimple right here, if you can't see. And I have a pimple right, where is it? Right there, if you can't see. It's like a very little one. All of these up here are acne scars. I don't really feel like I have to cover them right now because I'm not really doing anything today. So but if I was going to cover them, then this foundation definitely covers them. Like full. I think this foundation is definitely full coverage. And for the price that it is, it's about, I think, at my shopper's drug mat where I live in Canada, it's $18, I think. But I know at some places, like some drugstores, you can get them cheaper. I know at Target, they sell for a little bit more cheaper than $18. But I think $18 for a drugstore foundation is good. And for what you get in the bottle, like there's a lot inside of the tube, I think. And it says uh, 1.0 Flow OZ 30 milliliters. One of these bottles lasts me a very long time. Like I said, I had this, like I've been using this foundation for about seven months. And I just recently bought this bottle like a couple days ago because I just ran out of it. And I actually use a lot of foundation when I do use it. So I'm actually really impressed that my foundation lasted that long, like the bottle lasted that long. But I guess for like how much you get, that's really good. But back to the product, I think the product itself is very, very full coverage, like I said. Um, it's not too hard to blend at all. And if you guys want like a full coverage, blendable, like cheap foundation, Revlon Color Stay is definitely like a good, good choice for you guys. It's like cheap, it's blendable, it's full coverage definitely. I cannot like put my finger on that. This is one of the most full coverage foundations I've ever tried. I'm really impressed with this one and I don't think I'll ever change using this because if I don't like foundations, I just give them away to my mom or something or like a friend. So I only have a few foundations and I just, I always reach for this in the morning when I need a full coverage. Like I, oh, I love this foundation so much and I just can't like, I can't believe that like it's a drugstore foundation and I'm so impressed with the product itself. And I definitely recommend this foundation for anyone like I said wants a lightweight a lightweight feel a full coverage look and like a cheap foundation would be this one so again I'll show you guys the bottle what it looks like itself again it's simple and the product itself I'll show you guys inside if you guys want to see right there if I had a pump I would never change my foundation probably ever again but I just, I don't think I will change it anyways because this is one of my favorite foundations ever. 
like I keep saying over and over and over again because it really is is for the price of it it's just perfect okay guys so that is it for this video I know it was a very very short video but I didn't really have a lot to say about the foundation that I picked for a review today but I just love this foundation so much. So I'm really happy that I made this video because I know some people don't know about the Revlon Color Stay or some people just don't know if it's a good foundation. But like I said, it's a good, affordable, full coverage, flawless, just blendable foundation. It's perfect. They have a lot of shades to pick from in my drugstore they do is anyways, but it's just perfect. And if you have oily skin, then they have an oily skin one. And if you have dry skin, then there's a dry skin one. But yeah, I definitely love this foundation and that's all I have to say about it right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video or comment below your thoughts on this foundation because it's perfect and uh, I just cannot stop talking about it because I'm in love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.